geopolitical foes of, of China and Russia and all these other countries. How many countries do you at this point believe that the Biden family was making money from and how much money are we talking about? Well, there were probably a dozen or more countries that they were involved in. Uh, the amount of money varies. I mean, that's why we need the bank records to get the exact amount. But I can tell you with confidence, Sean, it was tens of millions of dollars. There are two things every American is going to realize at the conclusion of our investigation. And that's number one, that multiple members of the Biden family were involved in the influence peddling schemes. And number two, most of these big deals were initiated during Joe Biden's term as vice president. Now, the narrative that the, that the defenders in the media are trying to portray on Hunter Biden now that the laptop is, is has been proven to be real and the, and the evidence on it is, is legitimate is that, well, these deals happened just by the president's son, who, by the way, had a, an addiction problem. And it didn't matter because Joe Biden wasn't in office during this time. That's not true. These deals were initiated while Joe Biden was vice president. And multiple members of the family were involved in this in this scheme. Isn't, isn't the deal with China or the Bank of China, if you corroborated that that's true, the one billion that became a one point five billion dollar deal with the Bank of China? Wasn't that 10 days after vice then Vice President Biden flew on Air Force Two with his son Hunter on the plane uh, when that deal was made? Wasn't it 10 days later? We've been told that by multiple people that were in the, the Biden orbit during that time. Uh, as you know, Sean, we've requested the bank records and the bank violations just so we can have 100 percent evidence. But I can I can tell you that uh, we're pretty confident that uh, many of these deals that were, were done during the, the Biden vice presidency, the payday came shortly after uh, Joe Biden left office. So uh, this is a very well organized family that has been involved in, you know, shady business dealings with our adversaries, not just in Russia, Ukraine and China, which we all know about, but also in the Middle East. And what I found with with the president's brother, Jim, he operated mainly in the Middle East. There were multiple deals in the Middle East where Jim Biden was influence peddling. So uh, this is a story that's going to continue to grow. Uh, as you know, we're, we've made requests. We're setting up the process to begin to have successful subpoenas issued. But as you know, Sean, you have to start out by requesting the information. We're giving the White House every opportunity to comply with our request. Well, my understanding is, is that you uh, asked for information and, and Hunter Biden's attorneys uh, basically told you to pound sand. Is that true? That is true. They said, well, we don't think you need it. And besides, it doesn't have a legislative purpose. That's not true. This does have a legislative purpose. The Democrats have been complaining about influence peddling. The, the Biden family's obviously been influence peddling. So we need to define what is influence peddling. We need to make stricter ethics laws. We also need to increase the disclosure laws for family members doing business overseas with our adversaries while they have a relative that, that serves in the White House. We can't fully understand the extent of what these laws need to be until we know the exact amount of money so, that the Biden so family the took in step? and from the sources. If they won't voluntarily the next, cooperate, what next step? Ha what is your next step? The next step will be subpoenas. I mean, we will use the mm -hmm. subpoena power uh, to for the subpoenas to uh, win in court. We have to give them every opportunity to, to supply that information to us. And, and the ball's in their court right now, Sean. And clearly, they won't be volunteering any information or cooperation, that's for sure. All right, Congressman Comer, I think when this all comes out,